Hi, let's understand the bearers. What are the different kind of bearers that are present in the 4G? And what is the disaggregation between the control and data plane? Here we can taking an example of when the user is in a connected mode, in the RRC connected mode, how the connectivity looks like. We have seen that when the user is in a RRC connected mode, there is an ECM connection already built up in that case. So there is a NAS signaling that is happening between the user and the MME. Now in this case, there, are, there is a RRC signaling that is already there between the user and the base station. And there is S1 signaling that is going between the E node B and the MME. Also, the MME has to talk to the SGW and there is a GTP protocol that is established at S11 interface. We also have a connectivity back to the PGW and we have S5 interface for the GTP tunneling. Now, this is what we can see in the red color is basically the control plane. Now look into the, look into the user plane if user want to access to the data and goes towards the network. What it has to do, it has to first of all establish a radio bearer at the radio level between the UE and the E node B. And then there would be a S1 bearer which is actually built up between the radio access network and the EPC. This both combined makes a EU TRAN radio access bearer. Now the next KPI which we are going to emphasize upon is this particular KPI which normally exists and occurs when there is a data transmission happening between the user and the core network. Now along with the, the bearer at the radio level, there is a bearer that is set up at the backend between the STW and PGW also. And these bearers when combined together will create the EPS bearer. So this is the complete end-to-end -end bearer that is happening from the UE to the core network. And when there is a connectivity towards the internet or towards the external network, it will be considered as a PDN connection and we'll talk about that in the subsequent slides. So here broadly what we are distinguishing, we are distinguishing what are the different steps that have been taken in the control plane when the user is in connected mode and what are the different steps and the bearers that are established when the user again in a connected mode in a user play. It is important to understand these different 